Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're out here again with the Multi Joy Spaniel Fat Tire E-Bike. We're gonna, this video is gonna be more of the pros and cons. Now that we had some seat time on this thing, we're gonna tell you the things we like about it, things we don't like about it. And this one actually doesn't have many we don't like about it. It's, it's a pretty nice bike, but we'll tell you what those things are that we don't like, but we'll give you the big list of the things we do like, especially at this price point, and especially with that coupon code. We'll give you that here at the end, and you'll see it down below in the description if you guys are interested in one of these. So. That being said, let's get into the video. All right, guys, one of the cons, we're gonna start with the cons, bad news first, right? One of the cons that we don't like, sorry for the traffic if you guys hear it. One of the cons we don't like is this display and the, we love the display, don't get us wrong, it's a good color display, but in the daytime, you can barely see it, it's not bright enough. It needs to be a little bit brighter for us to see it better in the daytime, but you gotta get the right angle on it. But at nighttime, it's phenomenal, right? So it's beautiful. And like you, if you've seen our other video, you know we were mentioning this water bottle holder. That's definitely a con where that location is. The location is kind of not in a safe area, shall I say. So if you hit the brake and have to slide off the seat a little bit, you get it right in the uh, groin area there and it's not very comfortable. So we definitely took ours off. We put this here, which is nice for our phone. And uh, there's not really another viable location for a water bottle holder that we see right now but i mean there's ones that you can get that amount to the bars and stuff we might go with something like that but or we'll just strap it to the bag because we do got a pan air bag for this we might strap it in there or just strap it on if it's a short ride so that is a couple uh we got another one but let's go to the next location we'll tell you what the other con is all right guys one of the other cons that we found on here was uh what was it Oh yeah, <laughs> I should have known that. We just hit this trail, we hit a couple bumps and no rear suspension. I don't know if it's the price range, but we've seen bikes all the way up to $3,500 still don't have any rear suspension. So if you've seen our other video, we did put the suspension seat post on here. Helps out tremendously. We love it, but uh, it could use some kind of rear suspension. I, you know, like a swing arm on the back or something that makes it a little more comfortable. But other than that, there's not many other cons i don't even if you want to call them cons or just dislikes for us but uh it's a pretty nice setup again sorry guys if you hear the traffic everybody's running from uh hurricane ian here that's supposed to be coming up we're down here in florida so everybody's running from that lots of traffic and no gas so <laughs> hopefully you got it early but anyway that's the cons on this um if anything else if i had to pick other stuff it'd all be nitpicking stuff that of course you'd like to see on it but in this price range you probably want to get like hydraulic brakes and things like that and maybe if one other thing is a con, you have this nice rack back here. It's a beautiful rack. They, it comes with these straps, but as you can see, they, they're forward. It could do with another strap here in the back, which would help hold the stuff down. Because this one here, if you're trying to stretch one from here, it still wants to pull forward. So if anything, maybe a, another one back here, one to hurt. Other than that, pretty nice. So let me tell you a bunch of the pros we like on this thing. It has a lot of features that are good in this price range and that you would want to find in your first bike so let's get back up to the clubhouse and we'll show you what we what we like about it all right guys that was a beautiful ride we had today pretty hot so that pool behind us is going to be pretty nice after this video i'll tell you that so let me tell you some of the pros we like about this bike there's a bunch actually a lot more than the con so the uh first one is the pickup and speed this thing's got the high torque motor on it and it picks up and goes pretty dang quick i love that uh, so that's unusual from some of the other bikes we have so i enjoy that extra pickup and speed uh again uh, another thing i like are the large tires i, I wasn't sure because one of my other bikes has the 20 inch these 24s i love it gives you a little more height and it looks really good too and these tires here happen to have the uh the reflective ring around it which is nice it, it's really nice if you're riding at night and of course it goes with the lights and all that um, they do make some reflective rings that go around your rims if you want to go with those but for me, I think they're kind of pricey for being a sticker, but that's that. Um, again, another thing that goes with the front light is this rear light. What I like about it is every time you press the brake, it comes on and flashes, which lets people know behind you if, they're ri if you're riding or somebody on the road or something that you're gonna come to a stop. So that's nice to have. Um, another thing, like I mentioned about the cons, is the screen. The color screen is nice, especially if you got like, you know, diffuse sun or nighttime this color screen is beautiful has lots of stuff you could see a lot of information and you could cycle through it with your buttons 
which is nice. Another thing is that we like the nice kickstand. It's got a the wide base kickstand, which is nice. I wish it was a little bit longer. I think it leans the bike over quite a ways. A little bit longer on the kickstand, but I like that. Oh, and one other thing, the pedals. The pedals are pretty grippy. My feet don't slide off these pedals like I got on some of the other bikes. My feet would slide off. These ones here stays on really nice. So overall, a pretty nice bike. Um, we'll, we'll give you guys another video probably once we get more miles on it. We're only about 100 miles in. So once we get a couple hundred miles on it, uh, we'll give you our thoughts on it. How's, how's it holding up? What's it doing? Because we're not just on paved roads all the time. Sometimes we're on sand, we're on dirt roads. So we'll definitely put it through the test. And uh, that is it, guys. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Uh, if you haven't seen our other videos on this bike, we'll also leave links to those down below. Um, we also we have affiliate links down below through Amazon for all the accessories we put on here, anything we use in the video or uh, that's on our bike, you're interested in it, check those out. helps the channel. We appreciate that. Uh, with that being said, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, try something new. Okay.